In the following tutorial, we are going to insert weapons, path nodes, player starts, items, vehicles, and jump pads. This tutorial is also going to lead into how to set up game types for deathmatch and capture the flag using UDK. But before we begin setting up a game type, we need to know how to insert playable entities inside the map. So when you launch UDK, you are presented with a template map. If you right click and play from here, this will put you inside the map, but you do not have a HUD and you do not have a weapon. So in order for us to see a weapon and a HUD, go up to view, world properties, and under game type. So for default game type, you can choose anything that says UT. And by doing so, you will get a weapon and a HUD. So if we choose UT game, right click, play from here. Now we have our HUD and weapon. Now if we go back up and go into World Properties, if we set up game type for Pi, Pi stands for Play Inside Editor. And here we can choose any of the UT game types. This will help us to test the map inside the editor as opposed to going and trying to launch it from the game. UT, capture the flight game content, close this, right click, go to play here. You can see that we have the blue and the red capture the flag icons and the timer show up. And we are on the red team and if we had all the entities we would be able to begin to capture the flag and bring it back to the base. Now before we go into and begin to set up for deathmatch or capture the flag, let's cover a few more things. We're going to set up path nodes, player starts, weapons, items, jump pads, etc. So first let's insert player starts. For a deathmatch map or a capture the flag, you need player starts. The default player start is right here. If we double click, this is a regular player start. And to insert more player starts, right click. And if we go to add actor, we can add player start. Once we placed one, you can continue to duplicate by holding on alt, drag, and you can reposition to add more player starts inside the map. Just a side note that if you are creating a deathmatch map, player starts is what you want to put inside the game. So if it's a deathmatch or a team deathmatch, player starts will work fine. If you are creating a capture the flag, you need a different player start. So open up the content browser, go to active classes, and here up on top you have common, if you open that up, and under player starts, you have UDK team player start, open that up, and you have UT team player start. Select it, highlight it, and right click, add UT team player start here. This will input a node at player start for capture the flag game type. But we will go more in detail how to set these up for capture the flag map. So let's delete this. Next important thing is to know how to insert path nodes. Path nodes allow bots to know where they need to go, which items they need to pick up, and how to navigate around your map. So to place a path node, we right click, add actor, and add path node. And here you can either continue to add additional path nodes by right clicking, add an actor, or you can simply duplicate by alt, drag, and duplicate various path nodes throughout the map. You want to place these all around your map in order for the bots to know where to go. So to give you an example, here are various path nodes and player starts and weapons all around the map. And they allow the bots to navigate the entire map by following these path nodes. So here is a simple map that I created from the template by using the box that was provided and resized the box to kind of place them around to give an idea of a possible map that we are going to use as a template to create a capture the flag and a deathmatch. So here is the original default player start. So we can continue and add the rest of the player starts around the map just like we did before and duplicating them around the map. This will tell the bots where to spawn. Also we can begin to insert path nodes. So here I'm just going to go into the top and once I have the first path node I'm just going to continue all dragging and duplicating all around the map and just position them all around so everything is being connected. 
In order for all the waypoints to work and all the player starts to connect, you need to build paths. Up here in the toolbar, by clicking Build Paths, this will calculate everything. And here we have a couple of errors that says Path Node 22 is unnecessary. So if we double click, this will show us the waypoint and we can simply delete this. Now let's build it again. No errors come up. And if we place any bots inside the map, it should work properly. To add vehicles inside the map, let's go to Content Browser, Active Classes, and if we go on the bottom you see vehicles. Let's open this up and choose any of these vehicles that you want to place in the map. So let's place a Scorpion. Highlight it, make sure it's selected. Right click and add Vehicle Factory Scorpion here. And if we right click and jump inside the map, play from here. You can do so for any other vehicles. Now when you add vehicles, you will need to rebuild your paths. Now let's add items and weapons. So let's go over here and we're going to place a couple of uh, health bars on top of this box. To do so, let's go to the content browser, add the classes, and let's open up pickup. Here we have quite a few things we can use. We have ammo, armor, health and items. So let's place a couple of health packs. Let's take a health pack and let's uh, move it over here and by having it selected right click and add UT factory health pack here. Let's place a couple of health vials. Place one here and let's place one right up on top. And if we jump inside the map, now let's place weapons. Let's go back up, open up the weapons, and you have two. You have a weapon locker content, and you have UT weapon pickup factory. So UT weapon locker is multiple weapons, and UT weapon pickup factory is only one. So let's select pickup factory, and let's right click and let's place it right inside the map let's make sure that it's on the floor and to place it on the floor just hit the end key this will place it all the way down to the floor if it's up in the air now if we just jump inside the map it will not spawn any weapons we need to define inside the properties which weapon we want to spawn right here so double click and at the very top you see UT weapon pickup factory Right now it's defined to none, and you have three choices here. You have link gun, rocket launch, and the shock rifle. These are the default weapons that come with UDK that you can choose. So let's set it to rocket launcher. Close it, right click, play from here. And now we can pick up and use it. Next, let's place multiple weapons by going into pickup, weapons, and let's place weapon locker content. Select it, right click, UT weapon locker content here. We'll need to double click, go inside the properties. Under UT weapon locker weapons, let's add additional item. Let's open this up and we can define which weapon spawns. So let's do all three. Let's add another one. And let's make this into a shock rifle and we can add an additional one, we can add the rocket launcher open this up and let's add the rocket launcher now make sure that you build your paths again so everything is connected and for our last part we are going to add a jump pad from bottom here so the player can come up to it and it will catapult them right up on top of this box. So in order for the jump pad to work, it needs we need to place a jump pad actor and we need to place a path node that tells the jump pad where to connect to. So first let's place a path node right up on top. Add actor and path node. Now let's move it a little closer right here. And Let's place a jump pad on the bottom. 
So to place a jump pad, let's go to the content browser, active classes, and we need to go to navigation. And here you have UT jump pad. Select it. Right click. UT jump pad add here. Right now this is not a functionable jump pad, so if we spawn here, this will not do anything. We need to connect it. Double click and go into properties and under jump target you have to specify which path node to connect to. This path node is path node underscore 29. So we can either type in path node 29 here and click enter. This will connect to the jump pad. We will need to build paths. So now if we jump inside the map this will catapult us right up in here on top of the box. We can modify these jump time and jump error control values. So let's do 1.5. This will be a little tighter trajectory. Uh, or if we bump this up to 3, this will be really high. So let's do 1.5. Let's build paths again. No errors come up. And if we come up and jump now, it's going to be a tighter control jump. Another way to connect to a jump node without typing it in, select the jump pad first, hit lock selected actors, this will keep this property box open. Now we can select the path node and we still have our YouTube jump pad selected. And here we can use selected object in the content browser. This will input that path node without having us to type it in. And now let's unlock it. And let's build paths. And this will connect again to the path node. So at this point, we have inserted our vehicles, path nodes, player starts, weapons, and various items. And we can jump inside the map and test it out to see if everything works by adding some bots. So let's do that now. Right click, play from here. If you hit the tilde key, this will bring up the console type in add bots space and how many bots you want to add and let's say five hit enter now we have bots we can test out the map and run around see if everything works in the next tutorial we are going to use this map as base to set up deathmatch and capture the flag game types